I believe that Jews have a special responsibility to envision a better world and to work for it. I think very much my interest in advocacy and social justice and progressive values come out of and are deeply rooted in my experience as a Jew. As a Jewish artist, I believe we have even more of a, of a responsibility to speak out on social justice. It is part of being Jewish. Tzedek, tzedek, tirdof. Uh, so we have a, a moral obligation to um, shed light on things that are unjust for all people, not just for Jews. Um, and and as an artist, as a Jewish artist, I, I hope that I'm accomplishing that, even if it's in a very small way. My work is very nourished by uh, ideas of memory, particularly um, a, a kind of Jewish collective memory. I always am drawn to whatever the Jewish synagogue is, wherever the Jewish museum is, even if all that's left of a Jewish community is a plaque on a wall. I tend to go try to see it and document it, and then I use it in my imagery. I don't do figurative art. However, I'm constantly calling our rabbi to get halachic rulings on some of the ideas I have. For example, this piece behind me, it's the entire um, Echa copied out by hand, Book of Lamentations, and I had to check with him, can I do that? He told me I can, but I cannot put it in the same order as it's read. So every single word is present, but it's been disordered. I work sometimes with pig gut, and I called him to find out, can I do that? And he said, yeah, no problem. You're not gonna eat it. People use pig skin wallets. There's no halachic reason why you can't use it. So I kind of made full circle from starting off being totally um, secular, I guess you could say as an artist, to coming back to my roots and specifically my legacy as a child of survivors, because of the paintings I, I'm doing now, the figurative paintings are based on old black and white photos of my parents right after the war in a displaced persons camp. And then I continued that series with when they moved to Israel in the early years of statehood. And then I continued that further when we emigrated to the United States. That's where I come into the picture as a, as a little immigrant and, and an immigrant family with still very strong ties to Israel. Insofar as my Judaism finds its way into my work, yes, there's that social consciousness, but I don't consider it necessary. I'm fairly knowledgeable about Jewish history and have a strong Jewish identity and commitment to the Jewish community, but uh, it's not um, the driving element of my artwork. As an American Jew, um, my identity and the description of myself includes both of those. I would say as an American Jewish artist or as an artist who is Jew American and Jewish in any order. You can put those words in any order. So all of that has to be satisfied at the same time. Um, my Americanism, my Judaism, and my art practice all have to be satisfied. What I'm interested in is expanding the cultural vocabulary of what it means to be uh, a Jew in contemporary America. There was an attitude in the 60s and 70s particularly, especially in abstract expressionism, really, uh, that you know one should not be publicly Jewish, that it was fine for everyone else to express their identities, but Jews were to go you know, straight to the universal. And uh, if you read the biographies of any number of prominent Jewish artists at the time, uh, Rothko would be an example. Um, you know, there's a tendency to hide one's Jewish identity. I didn't feel that way at all. I am Jewish. I love as a Jew. I don't know Torah. I don't know that much about all the holidays. It's just not in my daily life. My daughter knows she's Jewish, but it informs my work because of the teachings I was raised with. Question everything. The Jewish reason, Jewish think, think. Think about the bigger community. And that's how every day my work is Jewish.
the Jewish qualities of working, of being, of working with art and moving forward all the time would be the same as we were raised to feel that we had to be a step better in order to survive further in our environment and in our communities. I think that's where that comes from. I think it always, that tenant that the parents always would say is like, you have to do a little bit better. Not that I was being pushed to be like the grade A student, but I was definitely aware of the fact that in order to sustain our positions in the world, we had to be a little bit better. We are raised on asking questions. And I think that's part of my Jewish sensibility. I ask a question, why does this look so beautiful? Why does the morning glory look beautiful with the purple and the little yellow on the inside? And then you look closer and the, and the little cells are sparkling. That is part of my investigation into life or into nature, into whatever I'm, I'm painting or drawing. When I was studying the Kabbalah and the Ein Sof, and the, it's like the Big Bang and the big explosion and all the shattered pieces fell into the universe. It seemed so close to the studies in the Big Bang theory and then I started studying the crossovers. I have Jewish art because I'm Jewish and I studied the Bible like three times in school, you know that in Israel. Um, it's it's uh, indirect. It's not by painting menorahs or mezuzahs or whatever. It's like the more spiritual part of Judaism. Someone might ask me, uh, you're a Jewish painter. Do you paint Jewish topics? I kind of feel like saying, you know, well, I'm a, I'm a man. So I paint things maybe what I think a man is uh, onto my paintings. Maybe I use a lot of males. Maybe uh, there's an old saying that I always go by and they talk about, it talks about um, the painter always thinks he's painting the world, but really he's painting himself. When I was coming to terms with how am I a Jew because I don't connect religiously, that it's undeniable that the ideas I have and the fabric of my moral fiber was informed by my upbringing. While my work is not overtly political or, or tied to my, my Jewish identity, I do think that ritual is directly tied to my relationship with being a Jew, and that's also directly tied to my work. I think the don't feel too comfortable is definitely a Jewish thing. <laughs> and being raised not to always feel or understand that you never know what's coming next, what's around the corner, that we should always be prepared. That's not to say that I walk around scared, it's to say that I've we have a survivalist nature, but without digging holes in our backyards to have a hut to crawl into. I think that that definitely addresses my art practice too. I'm never, I'm never satisfied doing the same kind of thing. I think, I feel like it, it always evolves and each piece that I complete leads me to the next piece or body of work. I joined the Jewish Artists Initiative and that focused my art in a different direction toward uh, Judaica and, well, my own feelings about my connections. My husband's an architect and I, I felt kind of attracted to uh, structural and grids in, in work and contrasts and color and, and shapes. And like, these images behind me are rather structural. And then I started using other symbols of pomegranate and um, there's also images behind me that look like a burlap that became uh, tallest images. So the images that I used directed brought me more into the Jewish aspect of my art than, I in, than as an intention. My artwork is about relationships, so that's a sociological endeavor. And uh, I think it's also an important part of uh, of my identity as a Jew, because uh, part of being a Jew is uh, concern for community and relationships and uh, organizing and developing and making things better. Right? So that's part of the Jewish heritage. Do I need to deal with Jewish themes constantly to, to express my Judaism? I do it once in a while, but for the most part, just my curiosity, I think, is part of my Jewish nature.
I can come up with symbols that represent certain things or metaphors and create a narrative that speaks to the political situation. I don't feel that's my forte. The reason that I use comic books in my work is because we see those same stories in comic books. Superman is an immigrant from another place. He has a different language, he has different clothes, he has different ways that he thinks about interacting with people and he lands in Kansas in the middle of America and has to figure out how do I become an American? How do I be a part of this larger world and still maintain what is special about me? And we see that as well, I believe, with, with immigrants in Israel. Right? Depending on what decade we're talking about, is it a population of Russian Jews? Is it Ethiopian Jews? Uh, French Jews now, right? How do we bring them in? How do we welcome people who have slightly different ideas about how they want their lives to proceed? How do we make America and Israel a home for anyone who wants to be there? That is something that I'm exploring with my work. That's who I am. I'm a Jewish person and, and that's where I find I'm finding strength.